welcome to GIR Golf. I am Jim, and welcome to today's golf rules tip, yellow penalty areas. If you're already a subscriber of our channel, thank you so much. If you're not, it would really help us out if you could push that subscribe button and that notification button so you can be notified when we upload videos like this. We have great golf content on this channel, a lot of educational videos like this, a lot of, ed a lot of entertainment videos as well, and we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Now let's get into the action here. Okay, so yellow penalty areas, we see those on the golf course, and the goal of this video is to educate you golfers on your options. So I'm gonna do a hypothetical situation here. I've got my golf ball rested right here, and I'm gonna pretend that I'm playing a par four, and this is my tee shot. So the ball is lying here with shot number one. Now, I've got in the camera here, if it can show, we've got a yellow penalty area over here to my right, and then I've got a orange pole in the distance, which is acting as my golf hole here at the house at our driving range. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a shot into the yellow penalty area, and then I'm gonna explain to everyone what your options are. Let's get to it. So here, here I am uh, on this hypothetical situation. The ball's lying here, shot one, I'm getting ready to hit shot two. Let's see if we can hit it in the penalty area and go over our options here. Okay, now the ball is in the yellow penalty area. Before I leave that spot, I'm gonna mark where I just struck the ball. We'll get to that in a minute, but I'm gonna put a tee down right here. Now let's go down and talk about where my ball is and our options down there. Now I'm down here to where the location of my ball is. My ball actually is in the penalty area uh, quite a bit farther than where I'm at, but I'm not going directly to my ball at this point because it's so important to note not where your ball is, but where the entry point into the penalty area is. Now I watched my shot and I estimate that I crossed the margin of the penalty area or my entry point to be about right here, okay? So before I go look at my ball, I'm gonna mark that real quick. Uh, we'll come back to this in a second. But now we're gonna go up and talk about where the ball is and talk about the option of playing it as it lies. Now I've came down here to where my golf ball is. And you can see on camera, it is in the penalty area, well inside the yellow penalty area. And option number one is I can play the ball as it lies without a penalty. And in this case, I would do that because I have a nice clear path, the ball's lying in a good spot. Oftentimes in the penalty areas, it's not. So option number one, play the ball as it lies, no penalty, I can even ground my golf club behind the ball, used to you couldn't do that. Let's go to option two. Here we are at our entry point. Remember when I marked that, where the ball crossed the margin of the penalty area. Now my ball flew over it in the air. If your ball rolls over it, it's still the same. If it rolled on the ground over here, that would be your entry point. So uh, option number two with a one stroke penalty is to take a drop on what is called the backward extension between this entry point and your golf hole. So what that means is you draw a straight line where your golf hole is, your entry point, and then you can take a drop back as far as you would like uh, within one club length. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put some lines on the ground, show you how to do that. Okay, so in our hypothetical situation, if I were to choose the backward extension option, option number two with a one stroke penalty, I would probably come back at least as far as this point here just to help me uh, to have some room to get over these little trees here. And that's what's neat about this option. You can go back as far as you like uh, on that point between your entry point and the hole, back as far as you want. So I've got a tee down right here because I want to play somewhere in here. So I put a tee down here that's in line with my entry point and my golf hole, which is my orange pole. Now you can drop anywhere within one club length of there. So I've got my driver, which in my bag is my longest club, excluding my putter. And for most of you, that would be true. But in order to uh, lay down our dropping areas, we must use the longest club in our bag, excluding our putter, because sometimes those putters, people can get really long. And that's what the rules of golf say. So I've got my driver. Now I'm gonna lay out my piece of pie or, or piece of pizza, spray some lines on the ground, and we'll drop the ball. So for the benefit of you viewers, I sprayed some uh, foot powder spray here on the ground to show the dropping area. Uh, I know this is very helpful, so we try to do that on this channel. Obviously, don't do this on the golf course, okay? 
you know, put your tees down, take your drop, keep pace of play up. But for the benefit of you viewers to help you visualize what a one club length dropping area looks like in this situation, I've done that. So, as always, like I teach everybody, I'm going to survey where I want to play this shot, okay? Obviously, the more I can get over here, the farther away I'm going to get out of the line of these trees. So I'm going to drop somewhere over here. I would like to hit out of this stuff here, kind of hit a little fluffy lie. So I'm going to take my ball. And of course, on this channel, I teach you too, anytime you drop a golf ball, make sure you clean it or replace it. The rules of golf allow you to do that. Take every advantage of the rules you can. So I clean my ball. Okay, drop it here at knee height. Ball landed in the drop zone, stayed in there. Okay, I can pick my tees up and play my shot. Now, in this hypothetical situation, my tee shot was one over there, two into the penalty area. I just dropped three because this is a one stroke penalty. I'm hitting shot four right here on this par four, and hopefully I can hit this shot up there close, make a putt, save bogey, move on to the next hole. But this would be shot four here. Now, if you remember, when I hit my shot, I took a tee and placed it down from where I hit my second shot on this hypothetical situation because Another option, which is option three, is to take a drop at the side of the last stroke. Now, if I was on the teeing ground and I did this, I could go back to the teeing ground and even tee the ball up. But in this case, I was out in the general area, so I need to know roughly where I struck this ball, okay? If you didn't put a tee down, just come up and estimate it the best you can. Ask your fellow players, you know, is this about where I was at and that kind of thing. But here, you know, uh, it's probably a good idea. If you're playing a tournament, mark that spot so you can come back to it if you need it. Now. So uh, what we got to watch for here is not to lay out our dropping area any closer to the hole, much like when we talked about in other videos. If you haven't checked our cart path video out, go check that out. We talked about making sure that we don't drop the ball closer to the hole because that is a penalty. So, so here at our, the side of our last stroke, I'm going to do the same procedures I just did on the backward extension. I'm going to lay my driver down. Okay, I'm going to come back here. Make sure I'm not closer to the hole. I feel like I'm pretty good right there. Okay. I'm going to flip it over here. There again, I'm going to come back here. Make sure I'm not closer to the hole. I feel like I'm kind of pushing my limits there. So I'm going to come up here to be safe. Okay. And then I'm going to put another tee back here. Now, I'm going to put a couple more down just for and spray some lines on the ground so you guys can visualize. And then we'll make our drop. So again, for the benefit of you viewers, I sprayed some foot powder spray here on the ground to help you see and picture in your mind when you put these tees down, what kind of uh, shape it makes. It usually makes a half piece of pizza or pie. So there again, I'm going to clean my ball or, or replace it uh, because the rules of golf allow me to. And then I'm going to choose where I'd like to hit this shot. So I'm looking around, surveying the area, you know, and uh, I think somewhere in here got some pretty good grass. Drop it knee height, ball landed in the drop zone, stayed in there, and I can hit my fourth shot from here. The math that we did on the backward extension applies here too. Okay, shot one was here, two in the penalty area. I just dropped three because this is a one stroke penalty. I'm hitting shot four on this par four, try to get it up there and hit it close, make a putt, get a bogey and move on, or hold out from here. You know, it'd be awesome if you could do that. What a way to make a par, lots of ways to make pars in golf. Now, so we talked about our options. Option number one was to play the balls it lies, and there's no penalty for that. So I'd be hitting shot number three down there, okay? Now, uh, the backward extension, that is a one-stroke penalty. That's option number two. Option number three is, the, is to take a drop on the side of your last, last stroke, okay? Again, one-stroke penalty. If, I, if the side of my last stroke was the tee box, I'd tee it up back there. Uh, that would still be a one-stroke penalty. And I would like to mention that depending on the golf course, sometimes they offer another option, uh, which is, it does, this does, isn't always the case, but there could be a drop zone. And so look for that on the, on the scorecard of your golf course, and also look uh, at any signage, uh, because the, these, these places are usually up close by the green, uh, so be, be on the lookout for that. But that will be a one stroke penalty as well. They'll have a circle kind of like this drawn on the ground or tell you a specific area. You drop it at knee height, just like we did here, and, and it's a one-stroke penalty there. So I'd be hitting shot 
four up there, you know, if they had a drop zone, but not, not every situation does. Thanks for tuning into our channel. Hope you've enjoyed this golf rules tip. Hopefully it's educated you golfers out there that when you see these yellow stakes and yellow lines on the course, uh, what your options are. And so you can make the best decision and, uh, and, and shoot lower scores. Be on the lookout for future videos from us. I'm gonna do a red penalty area out here very soon and show you the options on that. Uh, with that being said, thank you so much for tuning into our channel. Remember to smile often, have fun, and God loves you. Thank you.